Hey everybody, Tim here again, and uh, today I'm going to use this video to talk about some of the big changes that are coming to Lessons on the Web. The biggest change is that instead of signing up for individual classes, I've now lumped them all together into a single service called the Lessons on the Web Academy, which is a subscription service for $15 a month. The more months you sign up for in a row, um, you know, like a three month or six month or a whole year period, um, you will get those for, for less dollars per month. There's a discount at each of those levels. So if you sign up for a whole year, you can actually get it for about ten eighty three a month, $10.83. Um, so like I said, the more time you sign up for, the bigger a discount you get. You can also get a lifetime subscription for $210. So the more time that goes by and you use the service, the, the bigger of a value it will be, but it's up to you. If you, um, $15 is a very inviting price for somebody who may not have a lot of money and may not have a lot of time, and may only want to spend, you know, a month working on this stuff and then take some time off and then, you know, spend another month working on this stuff. So it, it offers a much greater scope of people that can now um, take part in the service. Um, so let's just see what we have and some of the big changes that we have here. So once the Academy is released on November 2nd, 2014, instead of the big changes page that you're directed to now, you'll be directed to this page. This is the main login page for the Academy. It also outlines some of the key features the Academy has and also has a nice um, sign up button over here, big red sign up buttons, but you'll log in right here uh, once you sign up for the Academy and you um, have your login and password. So if you take a look down here, we have some of the key features of the Academy. Like I said, it's now a subscription service. Um, there's now a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you aren't satisfied with the Academy in the first 30 days of your subscription, I'll refund your money 100%, no questions asked, um, no hassle. Note that this is one use per customer, so you can't sign up for a month and then request a refund, sign up for a month, request a refund, so that won't work. But um, I did want to extend that out to people who may not be sure about signing up for the Academy um, to kind of to put them at ease and just know if you, t you know if you spend your first 30 days and you don't learn a lot or you don't like it for whatever reason, I can refund your money. Um, by enrolling in the academy, students will have you'll have access to high-quality piano and music theory classes. So these are all the classes I've developed so far. I've actually made some um, adjustments to the existing classes to make them a little bit better, based on some feedback that I've gotten. And I've also uh, there's also two new classes that nobody's ever seen before that I've developed um, leading up to the release of this academy. There will be more. Um, there's actually a total of six classes right now and there will be more released uh, coming on the way. I can't tell you exactly when they're going to come out. I want to, uh, the, the deal with these classes is quality over quantity. So I want to take my time making each class, making it the best I can. Um, this is where the next thing comes in. You'll also have access to an exclusive lesson gallery. So to tide you over until the next um, class is released, there will be an exclusive lesson gallery that's updated weekly with new videos. So these will be very, um, very similar to the ones I've released on YouTube previously. The quality will be, will be a little better because I have some new equipment working and I figured some things out on uh, how this whole thing works. But you'll have an exclusive uh, gallery that's updated weekly. You also have access to a bi-monthly seminar. Now I know a lot of people have told me that they're not interested in live meetings. Some people are really interested in that. And this is actually a relatively small portion of the Academy. So if you can't make the meeting or you don't want to, don't worry about it. You still get tons of stuff, uh, even if you don't want to take part in it at all. You still get the uh, theory classes and piano classes. You still get the exclusive lesson gallery. Hours and hours and hours of content there. Um, but if you, uh, well, and another th a great thing about the seminar is that if you can't make it or you don't want to make it, they are recorded for later use. If you want to submit questions to me to answer during the meeting, even if you can't make it and then you want to watch the recording, you can do that too, but um, if you are interested in the live seminars, they are Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember to convert your time uh, accordingly depending on where you live. And if you have any questions about that, let me know and I can help you out. Um, and then you also have the ability to submit questions and feedback to the instructor, which is me, through a special web form. So I'll show you in a minute that there's a, a suggestion box form on all of the classes uh, so you can easily submit any problems you're having or things uh, that you suggest to be added to the course to make it better. So this whole thing I want to say um, is built around um, one thing. Let me get myself back up here. Uh, it's built around making the best possible online learning experience for piano and music around. 
um, period. I want it to be the best around. I really want it to be the best that I can do. But I also want it to be something where the students can give me their feedback so I can make it the best. Because, you know, I don't know everything on my own. I don't know, you know, there's certain things I don't see and there's certain things that other people see uh, that I would love to hear about. So I'd love to have your feedback. Keep in mind that I can't get to all of your requests depending on time and things like that, but I certainly would love to hear it. And I could probably get fit in many of the things that you do request to make um, this experience the best possible. So that's why also there's an exclusive lesson gallery that's added weekly and that there will be more classes developed is that over time I want to add more and more value um, to this online academy. But I think uh, just starting out there's a ton of content uh, that you can take advantage of. So I want to, that's the goal for this whole thing is to make it um, the best online learning experience there is at a reasonable cost of $15 a month. Um, so anyway, let's just take a look again at what we have um, for the academy. Let us, let me log in here. So when you click on student login, it'll bring you to this page. Um, this does work, by the way, with uh, iMacs. It does work with iPads. Um, it works with Android and it works with uh, Windows machines. Um, and it works on, um, I recommend it for laptops, desktops, and um, tablets the most. Um, smartphones, it does work for. The screen is a little small, in my opinion, but it still works just fine. Uh, let's take a look here. Let me log in really quick. And then let me change here. Um, oops. Let me try this again. There we go. Okay. So now that I've put my password in, let me switch this back to what we were looking at. So it says uh, when you once you log in, it says "Welcome to the Lessons on the Web Online Music Academy." Um, there's a new additions and videos page. This is just a text little text area where I will type in uh, what new new videos have recently been added to the um, to the courses or the uh, the academy as a whole or the exclusive lesson gallery. Um, so I'll let you know what's most recently been added. Obviously, I'll update, update this right before the Academy's release to tell you all the recent things that I've added. But you have your premium classes, uh, you have piano classes and music theory classes, and basically all the classes, people ask me all the time, what, what is a class um, in this Academy? All the classes is a, actually let me bring you back here, is a groupings of videos, assignments, practice examples, and other things um, based around a certain topic and a certain playing level. So you can see here that we have Introduction to Piano Music, and you're like, well, what, what kind of things does Introduction to Piano Music cover? And this is true for all of these, playing the piano level one, level two, and level three, and all the music theory ones as well. So you click on it, and it gives you the class description right away. So that tells you exactly what the class covers what you will learn and what you should already know. So this is the very first class you want to take if you are just very new to learning music. You know, nothing, this class is for those who know very little about music right there. So the other classes will, will have a list of things you should already know. Then for each unit, you have five units of content. You want to always scroll down to the course content and you can go through the five units. Every class has five units. And then there's also a suggestion box, which I talked uh, about earlier where you can leave your comment or things you'd like to see or problems you're having and I'll get to that as soon as I can um, hopefully within 24 hours but you know sometimes power goes out or internet goes out so I'll get back to it as soon as I, I possibly can and then um, here for each unit you have practice suggestions this is just a sheet telling you how to go about um, practicing for the week or going through the the units content Let's see here here we go. Sometimes it takes a second to load. Sometimes it loads up, you know, right snappy. But it shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds most of the time. And then here you go. You just go through the list and you follow the list for each week. Um, if anything ever doesn't make sense to you too, let me know. And I'll try to make it a little bit more clear. For every unit, you have a concepts video. Um, this is a video of me talking about the week's concepts. The concepts are found in the PowerPoint. So you click on that button. It takes you to the PowerPoint. You can also download the PowerPoint if you want to view it on your tablet or you want to even print it out. I, well, I personally don't print out whole um, PowerPoints, but you can do that if you want. Here, are the, Here's the playing examples video. I go over the playing examples for this week. Um, videos are normally, for this first class, are a little bit shorter. They're about 12 to 15 minutes in length. You'll find that in the more advanced courses because it'll take me more time to go over the topics. 
uh, and, and uh, playing examples, they may be closer to anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. So they do get substantially longer, you know, the harder the class is or the more advanced it is. And here you can view the uh, songs and examples that I talk about in the video. And um, it should load up right away. Um, I won't have the video here when you, once you once it's launched, but you can view the examples here. They they show up just fine. So if you have a tablet, you can just click on it. It shows up here. You can put it on your music stand and read it there. If you don't have a tablet, you can save these. You go download a zip file. You will need a program to open zip files, but if you click download zip, you you can download all the examples open them and then print them out um, for your viewing pleasure you know that's it's a lot easier for some people to because we don't have a computer nearby sometimes or a tablet to just print out the music sheets and do it that way so I have something for everybody I know a lot of people have told me they wanted the ability to print out the music examples and now you can for every unit there's going to be um, here's an extra example but usually it's some kind of song song will be anywhere from like one to three pages depending on the course um, sometimes there will be more than one song. There will be anywhere from one to three songs, I think. And again, you can view and um, yeah, view and print out the examples there. Okay, here we are with the a couple of seconds to load. That that loaded up like instantaneously. Sometimes it'll take. I I wouldn't say more than ten seconds. Usually it only takes about two seconds, um, most of the time. So the video streaming service I use now is a lot snappier. It loads a lot better. And it works a lot better. It isn't perfect, but it works pretty pretty well. If you ever have any uh, trouble with it, let me know. And then you have the assignments for the week. Obviously, in this first class, the assignments are going to be very basic, you know, just by looking at the sheets and then doing the answers. As you get into more advanced piano and music theory classes, the assignments will be a little bit beefier, and they will cover uh, more advanced topics. So, like I said, you can go through each of the five units there in the suggestion box if you want. And then you're like, okay, I want to pick a different class or look at it. You can go back to piano classes or you can go back to the main academy page to where you can select piano or music theory or the exclusive gallery. So um, right now, like I said, there's six classes total, four piano classes. That also means that by using math, there's two music theory classes that you can click on. And here again, class description, read what that's all about. Sometimes it'll say, uh, covers the concepts in Music Theory Level 1. So if you haven't taken Music Theory Level 1, take a look at that and see what the class description says there. Just make sure you're starting at the right point um, in your learning experience. So um, here we have the same kind of thing, all five units. You can leave feedback at the, in the suggestion box and things like that. So just showing you that the setup is the same for all the classes and um, Lots of videos for every class. For every unit, there's anywhere from two to four videos per unit. Um, so there, there's anywhere from 10 really to like 20 classes, to 20 classes, to 20 videos or more per class. So there's quite a lot of video content here. There's also the premium gallery, which I was talking about earlier. Um, it's going to be organized by, there will obviously be more things here, but um, it's going to be organized by um, basically topics. So you have uh, general music concepts here, like consonants and consonances and dissonances, intervals, um, identifying intervals, building triads, and so forth. And then you have this is like more of a music theory or or just playing on the piano, just general concepts kind of thing. And then there's a section directly for rhythm and note durations. If you want to learn how to count and improve your counting, you go here. And then you can watch the video, it should load up nice and snappy, and it does, it loads up great. And then, like I said, as, as time goes by and I develop more videos, there probably will be more tabs here. There may be like an improvisation tab or something like that as I go through and make each video each week. Remember, there's gonna be a video each week. Um, so if you sign up for a month, you're gonna get four videos um, during the time you sign up for new videos that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, so you can expect that and then um, yeah go from there you know 12 months in a year so over a year there will be quite um, a few um, videos being made if I guess 48 um, 12 times 4 but um, anyways that's actually just all I wanted to show you today is exactly what you get when you sign up uh, keep in mind you will have to sign into these pages oh one more thing is the live seminar everything you need to know about the live seminar is in this page um, like what time it takes place. Uh, I said before Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link to the seminar will be there. 
um, the recording to the, to the seminars we've already had will be there. So like I said, if you don't want to attend or can't attend, you can watch the video later to catch up or see if there's a piece of information that you missed there. And yeah, that's it. You know, you just get this login page, pretty simple button layout, depending on what you want. But there's a ton of content packed in here, hours and hours and hours. It will certainly take you, it all depends on what your month is like and how fast you work, but it'll certainly take you more than a month uh, to get through it all. So anyway, if you have any questions, as always, um, you should email me. Let me bring me back up here. You should email me, Tim, at LessonsOnTheWeb.com, and I'd love to hear what you think. Um, if you have any problems with the service, certainly let me know, and I will fix it as soon as I can, uh, or at least get you pointed in the right direction. And if there's anything you'd like to see added to the services, like I said, I might not be able to get it to, the, get to it right away, but I would love to hear your opinions, and um, chances are I'll be able to work some of those things in. So anyway, thanks as always, and I'll see you for the next video.